This week, we are going to skip back to the Cameo, do a couple little maintenance things on it. I've had a service engine light come on and uh, a couple little quirky things that are going on. Maybe we can straighten those out. Maybe not. Let's see. I'm Johnny Garage Johnson, and this is Hardcore Garage. What part should we replace first? <clears throat> I don't know. I'm going to yank the air cleaner off to get that out of the way. Uh, air cleaner housing. Sorry. Just to uh, make things a little bit easier. It's basically just one screw right there. And this piece will come loose. We'll take the uh, wing nut off right there. And there'll be one vacuum line that we have to pull off on the bottom. Some extra wires in here that I have no idea what they're to. Going to this extra relay here that I have no idea what it's for. Okay. And we'll unplug this right there. This guy should come right out. I should probably paint that thing while I got it off, huh? Okay, so I know. I know, I know, I know. I don't even see any of that stuff that I need to change out here. There's the coil. Huh. What should we start with? This guy right here? That's the, uh, I believe, the MAP sensor, which is also called a BARO, barometric pressure sensor. It's got one little plug on it there. I think that's the one there. Looks just like that guy right there. Fairly simple it looks like. Got a vacuum line on the bottom here and one plug. How do we get this thing off? I have no idea. It looks like it... How does that slide on there? I have no idea. <laughs> Zero idea. Oh, look, it just pops right off. Okay. Unplug there. Unplug there. Wish we could test these things. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Pop that guy back on. And plug this guy back in. And that goes right back in there like that. Okay. <laughs> it couldn't have been more simpler. <laughs> Hopefully you could see when I did that. Probably not, maybe. Super simple. Again, the part number here, just in case. And these are advanced auto parts here. Nothing GM yet. Okay, I believe it's way back in there, but that is the EGR valve. I'm not exactly sure how to get those out. And your throttle position sensor is right here. So that one might be the easier thing to get out. It's got two screws on the side there. This one should be fairly easy if I can get down in there. Pop it off and we got two Allen screws right there and right there. It's a T25 Torx, not an Allen wrench, which an Allen wrench would work if you don't have one of these, but really no idea how to tell if these things are bad either. And I had to get the front one with a Allen style Torx. It's just really, really weird to get in there. And I went ahead and yanked the, uh, map sensor back off just to make more room your sensor goes right there all right we got the new one in there yeah just gotta have small hands that's all, that's all i know um i'm curious as to what this thing is here it says filter and i've never ever replaced one of these guys i have no idea how that even comes off or what that even does there's a little filter there it looks like it could be clean but again what does that do Look at me sweating. Wasn't even any physical activity. <sighs> COVID sucks, guys. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I'm going to add the uh, EGR into this video or maybe do a video just strictly for the EGR because it's a little more difficult to get on that backside. 
uh, I might ask a buddy or maybe even watch a video myself before I try this. Looks like only two bolts, but there's a bunch of washers and a, and a gasket that you need to get in there and make sure it's all right. So I don't want to screw that up. <laughs> all right, we got everything back together in here. So the last thing that I'm going to do is disconnect the ground on the battery, let it sit for 30 seconds, a minute or something. That way it'll reset the computer, get rid of the codes that were in there. Then we'll go for a ride and see how she acts. Seems to have a lot better throttle response and it's not slipping in and out of overdrive like it was before. I kind of thought that might have been a transmission issue. Um, if anybody out there can let me know, does your throttle position sensor control when it would go in and out of overdrive? Because it's it's not doing that now. And it would only do it like when you're at a certain speed, man. Like, I don't even know what speed, but you're just like kind of trying to keep that maintained. It would just kind of float in and out if you weren't, didn't have too much RPMs or too little RPMs, if that makes any kind of sense at all. And I do got a service engine light just kicked on. So we will run a code on that and see what that is. Maybe the EGR is one of the issues still. And there's our 32. Uh, the Baro sensor, which is your map sensor. And then you can see the EGR is the next one there. Exhaust gas, ex exhaust gas recirculation. So we are going to switch that one next. It's always something. <laughs> So obviously, the next Cameo video that I should put out should be changing the EGR. And y'all know this is exactly what attention deficit disorder looks like in real life. You're always multitasking and you never get anything 100% done. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that. I know we, I, honestly, I think that I've probably made those two videos before. On a, maybe maybe it was a two five or something I don't know and if if I have I apologize. Um, yeah, sometimes you just forget. And it's just where I'm at right now, so I'm trying to keep y'all in the loop with what vehicles that I'm working on. And you're coming along for the ride, right? <laughs> well, that's all I got for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we got another Monday video coming up. This one is a garage door related video. So if you're not into garage doors, you might not want to watch that. Or you might want to learn something. Who knows? Y'all take it easy. Like, subscribe, comment, share. You know what to do. Keep on trucking. You know, if you keep following and keep watching these videos, eventually I'm going to have a digital dash swap for this Cameo. <laughs> I got the dash. I got the harness. I need to get a uh, one of those uh, pin release kits or whatever you call them so I can repin it. But that's on the plan, I promise. Huh. I'm just cruising along and all of a sudden I notice there's this S10 behind me. It looks like an S10 from, from Indianapolis.